Hello and welcome to the Team 4A presentation for Challenge 4, Running Budgets as a Workflow. Our challenge was set by Gleeds. Gleeds are a leading global property and construction consultant. Within their portfolio, they directly and indirectly manage a wide variety of property assets and their maintenance. This involves commissioning and managing capital expenditure projects, as well as refurbishment and maintenance works. Every property managed in the portfolio needs to be supported by an appropriate budget. All maintenance and development works required are funded through these budgets. To ensure appropriate governance is maintained, these costs need to be managed and tracked. As such, Gleed has asked us to produce a system and or tool for easily maintaining data from asset ma maintenance and explore the analytics that can help move asset management from lagging indicators to leading indicators. How this is currently done. Currently cost data is maintained through manually recorded entries into numerous Excel sheets that are loosely linked together. This is carried out by the user and relies on manual self-reporting against each property and or project which is collected and outputted in a tabular format. Some of the pain points identified. Inaccurate data. Without defined structures and closely managed fields, data is at risk of inaccuracy. Time consuming process. Manual line by line entry is time consuming and prone to errors, which often requires rework. Lagging indicators. Outputs are lagging due to the inputs not being recorded at predefined times. A clunky tool. Basic Excel software, which has been developed over time, becomes more and more complicated to rationalise the process behind its inception. Multiple documents. Reliance on multiple documents risks numerous outputs versus a single source of truth approach managed by a governing entity. Now for the user stories. They essentially outline the different perspectives of the two users and what they actually wanted achieved from our tool. The asset manager wants a tool that can significantly increase how easy it is for them to just pop in and pop out of any stage of the process and track the progress efficiently over any of the property assignments and etc. While the financial decision maker wants a platform they can access of which they can understand any of the budgetary needs of any assets they're governing at that moment. The approach we took to handle these requests was to basically increase the data quality, making it more accurate and easy to use. This led to the reporting from the asset manager to the financial decision maker uh, to be more up to date, comprehensive and finally streamlined. After completing the initial exploratory data analysis and subsequent data cleansing, we agreed that the best way to capture and manipulate the data in this instance was to produce a power app which would be hosted within a virtual, common virtual environment. We wanted to maintain a strong focus on the usability and aesthetics of the Power App um, to ensure uh, that it was easily used. So we have created this home page, which has several buttons, which allows you to navigate around the app as you, as you please. There were three elements to the data. Uh, one was project data, the other one was property data, and lastly, expenditure. So if I give you a quick uh, run through of adding a new entry for project data. So if I wanted to add a new project in here, I can just do that um, by filling in the necessary fields. And then I press submit and then I receive a pop-up just telling me that my entry was successful. Um, now, if I wanted to either edit or delete that entry or any other entries, I can then go into this uh, edit and, and, and delete project entry form, um, click on the relevant thing, and then I can update as I please. So I just press update here, and then that should update the fiscal year. So you can see on the right, it's 2017. Now, if I wanted to delete that, I can then press delete, and then I've included this uh, additional layer of validation to ensure that uh, nothing is deleted in error. On the screen now, we can see the one-stop shop for asset managers to view the overall project performance cumulatively across all projects in the portfolio, as well as individual project performance as selected here on this slicer on the left. The asset manager can see in the dotted line, the actual value, which is the amount invoiced as per the power app and the monthly entry form versus the forecast value, which was inputted also via the power app in the project setup form. The main visual is a line chart, which clearly shows the difference between the two values for any month. And at the top, a gauge chart to show 
the latest invoice cumulative value versus the total forecast value for the project in the portfolio. By collating the project information, we can provide useful insights to stakeholders. For instance, we can check the affordability by checking the different priority projects and how much they cost within a period to check that this aligns with the budget. We can also benchmark to inform the budget, for example, by selecting the type of project and the age of the building to get an average cost per meter square. We also use regression to help predict the repair and maintenance budget needed based on building size. All of these insights will help to improve understanding and management of the budget and will help to provide enhancements to the solution will be made through prototyping the solution in the real world and collecting real data. We will also expand on the insights from the solution with warning system notifications set up when projects are going over budget. We'll also set up notification systems through Power Automate for when monthly updates are due and also when projects have been updated by members of the team. In terms of processes in place to ensure the timeliness of data, this was discussed earlier in the presentation in the workflow section regarding the monthly project reviews where members of the team can see the data visualized in real time. In terms of security measures on the central Excel spreadsheets, cloud storage solutions such as OneDrive will be utilized. Controlled access to members of only the GLEADS organization through the OneDrive will be used. And where required, worksheets will be password protected. The future possibility of improving the system of an SQL server, the Power App will be linked to an SQL server. And this will greatly benefit the efficient retrieval and accessing of data 